Hi, I'm Tonya Caruso. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers, strengthening our region by building our next generation of leaders. Joining us in our studio this half hour is Danielle Tyson. She's the program manager of Leadership Pittsburgh Incorporated. Thank you for coming in Thank and spending some time us. with us today. Thank you. Leadership Pittsburgh is really a great initiative. And, and let's begin by telling folks a little bit about what the mission is and the goal. Sure. Well, for nearly 30 years, we've really been focused on developing senior and emerging leaders from uh, various corporations, various industries, engaging them with each other, connecting them with each other and with the issues so that they're prepared to lead our region. Yeah, and why do you feel this is so important? Why this approach? Well, I think that um, it, you know we have such a great um, plethora of, of organizations and industries here and it's really key to develop um, leaders both senior and emerging because we have you know a lot of people coming from our universities and, and wanting to stay here and wanting to, to thrive here and I think it's important to grow them. Right and so you sort of have um, two groups that go right. underway and, and let's talk about those. Sure so Leadership Pittsburgh our flagship program is really geared towards senior leaders with significant spheres of influence within their organization um, po focused on public policy awareness and issues um, so all of their sessions are focused on some type of policy. Leadership Development Initiative is our program for emerging high potential young leaders um, focused more on increasing performance in the workplace while exposing those leaders to community issues and opportunities. Right and so if you go through your directory um, it's basically a who's who <laughs> of, of Pittsburgh and, right. and um, from executives uh, on down of right. people who have been involved and so right now you are recruiting for um, your latest class. Right, for the next classes, for LP and for LDI. Okay, so what do you want folks to know? Uh, for LD, what has to happen? Sure, so the applications are due June 1st. Um, usually get your employer to sponsor, participants usually get their employers to sponsor them. Um, apply to the program and then over the summer months the class of about 45 to 50 emerging leaders are selected and um, participate in the fall. So the class starts in the fall and goes um, each month one session until June. Okay, and then for LDI? That's uh, that oh, is that's out, yeah. yeah. Okay. And for Leadership Pittsburgh, the applications are due May first, so it's okay. coming up quickly. And, and so, <coughs> and what sort of things will they do? What sort of time commitment? So the LDI participants each month participate in what we call sessions, and each session is focused on a specific skill, a leadership skill. Um, so it can be anything from initiative to followership. We use a model that was developed by Professor Carnegie Mellon. Um, and then uh, they actually participate in a community impact project as well, which is a way for them to use the skills that they're learning in a community setting while getting them excited and engaged in, in the community. Yeah, and so uh, it's a lot of work, <laughs> but it's also a, a great deal of fun. It is, it is. We try and make it fun for them because we want them to be excited about getting involved and getting uh, engaged with each other. Right, so what is the timeline here in terms of when applications are due and how folks can get an application? Applications are due um, June 1st for LDI. They're available on our website at lpinc.org. Um, they're uh, sele classes selected over the summer months and they start in the end of September. And what do folks say to you about what amazes them most about the program? I think it's probably the connections with people from so many different industries. So, um, you know, the, the program lasts nine months, and so you're with this cohort of people from various industries, mostly corporate sector, but also some nonprofit uh, and public people as well. But you're exposed to these people all year long, and you kind of create this bond. And so people say that they have lasting friendships, they have lasting business relationships that have been made from the, from the LDI program. Right, and just overall, the impact on the region. So it's, you know, it's really, I think, Probably the most important thing about LDI is that it's used as a retention strategy for a lot of these area corporations. And as people know, we have this kind of brain drain problem in Pittsburgh. And this is a way to really connect these emerging leaders with each other, um, you know, give them the leadership skills that they need to succeed in their organizations, and also expose them to some senior leaders as well, because we do have our graduates come in and, and ex um, kind of facilitate the sessions and talk to the classes. So it's a way to connect them and kind of keep them, we want them here, so we want to keep them right. in Pittsburgh. And, and, and that's a big deal too, is that yeah. they're not only with their classmates, but they um, get audiences in front of um, some really big people in town. Right. We thank you so much thank for you. coming in and talking with us today. We appreciate it. Um, such a great initiative. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Tony. You're welcome. I'm Tonya Caruso. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. We'll send you back now to HLN.